Hello, people of the internet. John Perry here, and today I'm going to talk about the definition of science. Stated Casually presents Searching for a Cleaner Definition of Science. Lately, I've been thinking a lot about how best to define science because I'm currently working on a series of animations for Stated Clearly, my other YouTube channel, that's going to talk about what science is, what science is not, and it's going to talk about the different aspects of science. So what is a fact, a scientific fact, what is a scientific theory, and what is a hypothesis? This is going to be an extremely important series of animations because there's a lot of confusion about what science is and what science is not within our culture today. And people are exploiting that confusion. People are using bad science or even pseudoscience to convert people to their ideas and to sell them products that actually aren't good. So being able to distinguish between good science and bad science is an extremely important thing for us today in modern society. In order to do a good series of animations on science, one of the things that I have to do is I have to come up with a really good definition for science. Something that's really clean, clear, and something that will help kind of dispel some of the the misunderstandings people have about science. Of all the definitions that I've found, I'm not quite satisfied with any of them. And so I've written my own. And before I show you the definition that I've come up with, I want to show you a couple of definitions that I've found for science online. And I want to explain what it is that I do and do not like about those definitions. Then I'll show you my definition. And what I hope is to get some feedback from you to see what you think of my definition so I can make it better. The first definition for science that I've found in the dictionary, and this is the one that I like the best, comes from the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, and it says that science is knowledge about or study of the natural world based on facts learned through experiments and observation. I love this definition for science. It's a really good one. It's stated fairly clearly, but there's one part that I don't like about this definition, and that's this business about the science being the study of the natural world. When we say that science is the study of the natural world, what we're insinuating is that there also exists another world that science is maybe not allowed to study, uh, possibly a supernatural world. I don't like this insinuation because it opens up a debate that I think doesn't even really need to happen. Of course, it's possible that there is some sort of what we would want to call a supernatural world out there, some sort of realm or place or group of entities that science has not yet been able to observe. Of course, that's a possibility. But I feel like it's really inappropriate to try and build a wall between natural versus supernatural, because science really is the study of that which can be observed. And as science and technology progress, we are able to observe more and more different things, things that were previously thought to be supernatural or impossible for science to study can now be studied by science. One really good example of this is disease. We used to think that diseases were caused by supernatural entities, demons or even angels or gods that were cursing people. This was the cause of disease, so we once thought. But since the invention of the microscope, We've been able to look at microorganisms, and we've realized that many of the diseases that we have are caused by microorganisms simply living and reproducing and doing their things within our bodies. This realm, which was once thought to be supernatural and unstudiable by science, is now easily studied by science. We can look at microorganisms, we can watch them reproduce, we can see how it is that they cause disease. If I were to rewrite this definition, I would say that science is knowledge about or study of facts learned through experiments and observation. Just cut out the whole business of this natural world thing and just talk about facts, because science is the study of facts. The second definition for science that I found, which I'm almost happy with but not quite, comes from dictionary.com, and it says that science is a branch of knowledge or study dealing with a body of facts or truths systematically arranged and showing the operation of general laws. The part that I don't like about this definition is simply the word truth. I don't like the word truth when we're talking about science because the word truth feels really final. It feels like truth is this thing that's infallible. But one of the beautiful aspects of science is that all of the conclusions that we come to really are 
tentative conclusions. What I mean by that is that with new knowledge, the conclusions that we've drawn in the past can change. They can be modified. So what we do in science is we collect facts, we collect observations, things that we can take in through our five senses, sight, sound, taste, touch, and smell. And we take those facts and we organize them into theories, into overarching explanations. And we use these explanations to help us find more facts and increase our knowledge. And as we find more facts and increase our knowledge, oftentimes these theories change. We find that aspects of those theories, or sometimes the entire theory itself, was wrong. It was not true. And so we we edit it, or sometimes we've replaced it completely. One really good example of a scientific theory that was wrong and was then replaced with a new theory when new information came into play is the theory called miasma. Earlier, we talked about supernatural explanations for the cause of disease. Miasma was an early scientific theory about the cause for disease. It was largely accepted by the scientific community during the era of the Black Plague. The theory told us that diseases were caused by bad smells. And because we thought that diseases were caused by bad smells, there were two ways that we thought we could avoid disease. One was to be really clean all the time, and the other was to mask bad odors. Miasma theory was helpful. It really did help us avoid diseases because it encouraged people to be more clean. And by being clean, they avoided disease. But the theory was not true. It was not accurate. Diseases are actually caused by microorganisms. A lot of microorganisms do cause bad smells. They are associated with bad smells. But those bad smells are not the actual cause of disease. So when we started to understand how microorganisms reproduce and cause disease, We replaced miasma theory with germ theory, and with this new theory, we've been able to avoid disease like we never have been able to in the past. Germ theory, since its origin, has been dramatically edited ever since. When we find new information about how viruses and microbes interact with our bodies, we edit germ theory. Uh, We even now have knowledge about prions, which are, they're not germs at all, they're They're proteins that can actually cause diseases as well. Science is an ongoing process. That's one of the things that makes scientific discovery so beautiful. And when we're trying to come up with a definition for science, it's really important that we put that into our definition. So now that you've heard my critiques of other people's definitions for science, I want to show you my definition for science, my working definition for science, and get your critique and your feedback. So here it is. The stated clearly definition for science. Science is the collection and documentation of observable facts and an ongoing discussion about how those facts can be best linked together. What I mean here by observable facts are any bits of data that can be taken in with our five senses. Sometimes we augment these senses with things like microscopes and telescopes and microphones. Uh, But we use our five senses to take in information. And then we have this ongoing conversation about how those facts, how those bits of information that we've gathered, can be best linked together to form explanations, theories, and hypotheses. That, to me, is science. It's that simple. Science is the collection and documentation of observable facts in an ongoing conversation about how those facts can be best linked together. So that's my definition for science. I, again, I would love to hear your feedback. Leave comments in the comment section underneath this video. I will read those comments, and as I am producing this series of animations on science, I will consider the feedback that you're giving me. I really want to make this series good and useful for as many people as I possibly can. Thanks. So long for now. Stay curious.